In this video, I'm going over Secure Code Warrior, which is a platform to teach yourself security code review. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Chris, I work in cybersecurity, and on this channel, I make a lot of videos on the topic. If you like that, subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of all my new videos. And if you're looking for a job in cybersecurity and need one-on-one -on -one coaching or training, get in touch with me using the links below. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, to clear things out, this video ain't a paid promotion by the guys at Secure Code Warrior here. Um, it was actually probably a year ago when I learned about this platform um, and I actually sent them an email asking them uh, to let me check out their uh, platform and they were kind enough to let me in and for that I'm really grateful so a big shout out to Peter uh, the master warrior here okay so uh, since uh, then since about a year ago they've actually opened a free trial for individuals uh, so if you wanna um, check it out just head over to I think it's uh, the pricing section somewhere over here yeah so head over to the pricing uh, section and request your free trial all right now uh, let's get in so this is actually the dashboard and we have a lot of things here first off we'll start with uh, my training and uh, we have all my stats the active language that I'm using which is PHP Symphony uh, beginner stuff as I haven't um, to my shame I haven't actually uh, practiced too much uh, the language stage so OWASP uh, top 10 and current rank 1 1 since I'm the only one using this account so we also have my assessments and my tournaments uh, which are probably available with company subscriptions that's why we see the current rank over here because if we if we have a company subscription and we have 10 players or 10 employees using uh, the same account we may see for each uh, employee or for each team member their current rank now on the top right here we have the metrics um, but there's not much going on in there for me and on the top right we have uh, tournaments, training, assessments and resources so tournaments and assessments uh, are um, like I said not available for me so module not available as you can see here and then we have training and resources so let's start with the resources so in resources we have two main sections we have the fundamentals uh, and app security weaknesses uh, and that's actually uh, really nice as they teach both web and mobile here so uh, let's go for example to uh, security fundamentals okay and let's go to defense in depth and we get a video um, explaining the concept uh, really thoroughly fellas check out my python basics course to learn the fundamentals of python you need in cybersecurity. there's a discount link in the description so yes uh, this uh, this resources section is uh, is a learning section and then there's also the training section where we have languages mission control my statistics and leaderboard so we're not interested in my statistics or the leaderboard and we have languages let's open that and mission control this is the good stuff now look at all of them so we have uh, Ruby we have uh, objective C JavaScript JavaScript uh, so react native react angular we have Java multiple Java sections we have C++ and look at just how many challenges are in the C++ basics more than 400 challenges uh, also C basics 435 challenges and the one that I've selected here PHP Symphony 132 challenges so there's a lot of good stuff in here we also have mobile stuff like Java for Android which is almost 400 challenges and Java Enterprise almost seven freaking hundred challenges okay so great stuff now as for uh, mission control so let me just close that for mission control over here you have the OWASP top 10 2017 which is broken down into four sections and this is the one that I'm currently at 
as you can see this is a uh, deactive one and it says uh, that it focuses on injection flaws and bro uh, broken authentication vulnerabilities this is actually the PHP code review my selected language for the uh, and I'm actually testing against A1 and A2 the first two in OWASP top 10 2017 so testing for injection and broken authentication let me see if I can actually start a new challenge from scratch so let's see close continue let's go to continue first and of course you have a tutorial uh, here at the bottom right uh, which shows you how to use this uh, training platform anyway so we are in a1 injections all right um, and the first thing we need to do is actually locate the vulnerability in the code and then identify the solution uh, and that's how you actually complete one of these uh, challenges and there are like I said for uh, the PHP Symphony more than 130 challenges okay so it says that we need to select a code block that causes the vulnerability listed below okay so we could select a code block just by clicking on one of these exclamation points like for example we have the files that uh, might contain the actual code block that's vulnerable but there's only probably there's only one of them uh, that's vulnerable so we have to look into this and analyze the code and select the code block that we think it's vulnerable so we've uh, we've been into this file and then there is also the profile.php and of course we have to analyze this uh, this is actually how you learn let's say that uh, this code is the one that's uh, vulnerable and then we click next and it says stage completed okay so I did, didn't actually do this because I knew it I just uh, actually selected it so uh, don't think that I'm that smart uh, I've just uh, selected it if um, if it were to select another one let me see can I I don't think I can I, I wanted to show you what's uh, the message you get when you select something that's wrong so it says very nice uh, storing profile data, data and it gives you a little bit of explanation here now if we hit continue we need to identify the solution so we have to determine the correct fix we click on view solutions and this is where we have the vulnerable code so this is divided into two sections and uh, this is something really nice uh, if I scroll down or scroll up uh, in one of these windows it actually scrolls like um, in the same uh, so it synchronizes the scroll in the next window so this is the vulnerable code that we've identified which is over here and this is the solutions tab and we have multiple solutions for each vulnerability and we have to identify them so first we have to identify the vulnerability out of multiple potential vulnerabilities and then once we have identified the correct vulnerability we have to go and identify the correct solution so let's say let me actually I hope I'm choosing a bad solution because I'm not actually going through code review though I might do that in in another video so guys let me know down below if you want me to actually do uh, or to try doing or to try learning or making tutorials uh, of learning security code review using secure code warrior so let me know in the comments below let's say solution 3 is the correct one we could also click on hint or accept let's go to accept and hopefully this is a wrong solution oh man this is pure luck okay so it says uh, <laughs> this was the correct one solution 3 let's actually go to another uh, challenge and it actually gives you an explanation over there uh, let's go to another challenge and uh, try selecting the wrong answer so this is another one still injection flaw and we have local file in inclusion and let's say this is the code that's uh, that's vulnerable we click on next and it says stage failed 
we can retry or reveal the answer let's do a retry you know what happens when you click on retry it actually takes you back takes a little while to uh, fetch the source file so it's a little bit laggy not sure why uh, this usually isn't the case if I click on the hint it's okay to get some help however please be aware we'll reduce the number of points you can score okay let's actually click on give me a hint and this takes us to one of the learning resources okay Hello. and the one and welcome to secure code warrior this one is for local file inclusion and path traversal okay I can also click on give me another hint or close alright so let's go back to I believe it was probably here click on next stage failed retry or I could also sh uh, select reveal answer select this one next reveal answer continue okay and then continue to get the solutions view solutions let's see what happens when we uh, select a solution that may be wrong this is what I wanted to show you I wanted to show you a lot of potential cases for actually learning on this platform let's click on accept solutions okay so we have uh, the first solution was wrong and it explains to us why it says the application simply checks whether the path starts with uh, forward slash this still allows path reversal by using other characters so we have to actually uh, really look into the code and try to understand how everything is handled and this is uh, this is not um, this is actually or maybe a little bit easier than in the real world because we might not necessarily have to look through the entirety of the code uh, we we just uh, we're just looking through the code that's being highlighted so we're straight to the point and in that case it helps us learn faster but I would say is not hundred uh, percent realistic it's probably ninety percent realistic so anyway let's see if let's go say and that solution two might be the correct one solution three so um, as you can see one of the potential drawbacks would be the slower loading of these uh, of these uh, screens and hopefully hopefully they're working on it for the future let's say solution 3 is the correct one it says stage completed so this is what happens when you get the correct one you also uh, it also tells you how much time you've spent until you identified the correct solution I guess remember like I said there are dozens or hundreds of challenges for all of the languages available so you've got a lot of ground here to cover and uh, actually a lot of space where you can learn now I'm an avid promoter of practice makes perfect so if you want to get good at something uh, I would say get your hands dirty and practice however often you can or however often it is possible now you might also want to check out this video in which I tell you about the uh, top three beginner courses if you want to get into cybersecurity and penetration testing and you might also want to join this amazing community of infosec geeks on discord where we discuss everything cybersecurity link below fellas please give me a hand in growing this channel by sharing this video around so that YouTube starts uh, suggesting my content to more cybersec people until next time keep practicing every day